Hello friend welcome to marineengineeringhub.com Now today we are going to talk about the advantage of multi stage over single stage First let's see this graph In this graph as you can see it has been drawn between P and V and uh, as the whole compression cycle is been carried out in one stage okay so there is a constraint that in single stage compression maximum pressure can be rise in one go from 1 bar to 30 bar only because after 30 bar there is a material constant come because of the failure of material you can say or metallurgy part in metallurgy it is physically becoming impossible because of the scenario build up of heat 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 lubrication several problem occur which we will discuss when we will cover the multi stage now let's first we talk about the multi stage and how it has overcome the problem of single stage in that i will tell you now first le let's see the multi stage graph in multi stage graph basically you, see, you as you can see in my earlier video i have told you about the isothermal polytropping and adiabatic compression as i have told you that polytropic process is the process which basically occur in a compression cycle now basically our main aim is to achieve an isothermal compression graph why because isothermal compression graph indicate that the amount of work done will be minimum in isothermal compression so how can we achieve the isothermal compression basically i will tell, tell you in my later video but today i will talk about multi stage what is multi stage multi stage is a process in which we are building up the pressure in a in a stage way means what suppose we build up in first compression cycle we build up pressure from 1 to 5 bar and in next compression cycle i am building up the pressure from 5 to 20 bar so by doing so i am actually not only saving the amount of work done but also i am also eradicating the problem which has occurred in the single stage compression first let's see this graph and okay here as you can see this is the pressure versus volume graph this this is the first stage compression cycle okay and this is the second stage compression cycle okay this is the second stage compression cycle now as you can see the first stage compression cycle is almost equivalent to the single stage compression but the second stage compression is basically what here the difference is basically how a polytropic graph mainly occur in multi stage is like that the cycle of compression will begin from here now there will be an intercooling and after that there will be a further compression by doing so what is basically happening that we are saving energy from here by intercooling okay there basically what arrangement are there in single stage versus multi stage i will tell you by a schematic by a diagram in my later video okay now first let's see the advantage of multi stage as you know the advantage of multi stage is the amount of work done by the compressor is reduced okay the second problem the second problem is that the second problem is that the as you are not only reducing the amount of work done we are also overcoming the problem of lubrication which basically is the scenario for the single stage compression as the pre, as in single stage compression we are building a pressure from 1 to 30 bar the amount of heat generated to build up a pressure from 1 to 30 bar in a very specific even a very small period of time is very high which causing the evaporation of the lubricant and uh, on in, in the inside a cylinder and therefore enhancing the cor erosion and as you can see and therefore erosing the increasing the wear out and wear and tear of the cylinder liner very fast so we have come up with the multi stage once again i will say you means what is the problem is that basically in single stage the lubricant is evaporating and therefore wear and tear of cylinder liner is increasing Thus, second is that as 
we are doing the compression in multi stage in a in a in a stage way so that we are cooling the liquid in between as we are cooling the liquid in between we are basically improving the volumetric efficiency okay now how the volumetric efficiency is increased volumetric efficiency is increased because we are cooling the as we are cooling the liquid we are removing the moisture second thing is not only we are removing the moisture we are also as you can see we are as you are cooling the liquid we are not only removing the moisture we are also decreasing the amount of gas and increasing the mass of air as the mass of air is increased and the and the con quantity is reduced therefore the volumetric efficiency is increased and second and last is that as the material constant is removed in means basically what i have told you earlier that in multi stage as the compression is been carried on a stage way the material problem which occur in the single stage is been overcome so that is the advantage of multi stage over the single stage in my later video i will explain the multi stage compressor and i will tell you more about the intercooling and aftercooling thank you friend for watching my video please do like subscribe my video